see. Hello, everybody. I think that's working. For some reason, it would not let me do a description. So I'm not sure why. Um, but I'm trying to do a different setup for you guys where you can see more so what I'm doing and also um, I can hopefully read comments from the iPad. So I think that that's working. I'm trying a different setup tonight. So we will see. That's like the second time I've tried to do it, to go live. So um, I'm going to look on my iPad and see if I can get, uh, there we go. Hopefully I can read your comments now from the iPad. All right, so let's see here. I have um, some Dollar Tree. Let's see, is it gonna let me watch it without? Yeah, okay. I have some Dollar Tree ornaments that I got. I guess they're ornaments. They are actually like wood signs. That's what they say they are anyway. Um, and I thought it would be fun to kind of embellish these, decorate them up, and actually use them as an ornament on the tree. So one trend that I have noticed with some Christmas decorating for Christmas trees is that you see people actually um, using larger ornaments. They are making bigger ornaments and putting them like strategically on their tree. And so I kind of wanted to add some of those to our little fun tree that we have in our family room. And I thought these jumbo ornaments would be perfect. And so I picked up two gingerbread men um, and I thought it would be cute to make like a boy one and a girl one. And I picked up the large actual ornament shape one. And of course I had to get a truck and tree. I have tons of these. This little door on this one happens to be a little bit crooked. And so I'm not doing a lot of truck and trees this year. So I thought I might not do this one, but I think I'm gonna do these three and just show you how you can embellish them. And so I have some goodies that I've just pulled out of my craft cabinet. Um, I pulled out some ribbons. I pulled out some, some words, these little biscuits that I have. I have scrapbook papers over here, guys, and I also have lots of my craft paints, okay? So, I thought it would be fun to for sure do the big jumbo ornament and put some of these discs on it with a word. And so, I want you guys to tell me in the comments what word you would use. Now, these are some wooden letters that came in a bag. I think I got these from Hobby Lobby. I used it for one project, um, and so I happened to find, I could either do the word Noel, or I could do Mary. So you guys leave a comment and tell me what word you think I should do for tonight. Um, I'm gonna pull these to the side, and then show you like what I had in mind to actually embellish this. And I apologize, there's like glitter all over this little thing. So, leave, there's like a little sewing needle right here. So let me get that out of the way, that's not safe. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take the little tag off. I'm gonna leave the twine on there because like I said, I wanna use this as an ornament. And I thought it would be super fun um, to kind of make this like candy cane. So I have this Paper Studio um, 69 cents, but you can get like four for a dollar if you catch it on sale. These little like Hobby Lobby papers. So I'm just going to flip it over and just cut this out to, to size. And I wanna make sure that it's like the right direction with the pattern. And just simply take a pen or a pencil and trace that. So I just have a little pen right here in my drawer. And I'm probably not even gonna do the top one here. So let's just see, I'm gonna do this shape just like this. And I'm gonna cut it out and I'm just gonna Mod Podge this paper right onto the top. So, let me see if I can see some comments here. All right, let's see, hello. Let me say hello to Melody, Joe Ellen, Frida. Let's see, Kathleen, um, Brenda, Karen, welcome. We are crafting tonight some jumbo ornaments. These are from the Dollar Tree, if you're just joining. And I thought this would be fun.
fun to add some elements to our tree and I will take some pictures and show you guys over the weekend I will post them and tell show you how I actually place these on the tree so I'm just cutting this out by hand it's probably not perfect totally fine and let's see here and I just you know what when I was shopping for some of these things like I didn't have ideas for the papers or the projects yet. I just bought these papers because I thought they were cute and I knew something would come to me and I'm not even kidding when I said, you know, I came up with this right before. Okay, so because my little jute twine is right here, I'm gonna cut this little piece off. I don't really want that. So I'm just gonna cut that off and I'll figure out something to do up there. So to add this to my little Dollar Tree, or it's not little, it's kind of big, guys. To put this on, we're just going to simply Mod Podge it. So I have my Mod Podge, my big jar of it, okay? And I like to paint my board with the Mod Podge. Just get a good, nice amount on there. Anytime you're working with scrapbook paper and you're putting it on wood, Mod Podge is the way to go to adhere it. And I'm just going to do that. Let's see. Hello, Dana. How are you tonight? I saw your comments. See, I thought this angle would be a little bit better so you guys could see what I'm doing. You can't see me, of course, but I promise I'm here. <laughs> All right. So, and then before I glue it down, I know that's drying quickly. I'm going to do a little bit on the back of my paper, too. Just for, like, extra Mod Podge goodness, right? Like, that's what we want to do. All right. So, just get that on there really good. And then... It's of course drying. I've got glitter all over my table from the other night. I think last night's crafting, right? All right, so I'm just gonna adhere that on there. And then one of the things I like to do is I'm just gonna run this on my edges of my paper. Um, you totally don't have to do this, but I feel like it kind of helps it all stick down. And it dries clear, so you don't have to worry about that. And if this turns out like super cute, I'm definitely going to want to use this year to year. And so this is just going to help preserve that entire piece, right? Like, I don't know, just sealing the edges as best you can is always a good thing. All right? So, looks pretty good. Pretty good match. You can see right here on the back, it kind of went over a little bit, so... I could always sandpaper that off with like a sanding block once it's all dry, which I may end up doing right there. Okay, so, so far here's my little red and white striped ornament. Now, did you guys tell me what word you think I should do? Let's see, any comments? Remember, I have the words Noel and Mary. So someone said, Noel, anybody think we should do Mary? I'll let you guys comment a little bit more. So I have the green paper, okay? And I did pull out, yeah, here they are, some wood biscuits. And I thought this would be cute. I thought I had, oh yeah, here we go. I had five of them. So I can do either word, Noel or Mary. And so to do these, I am just going to simply Mod Podge my little circles down onto my paper, right? Just like this. And I want them to dry these little wood cutouts um, pretty quickly. And they will with the Mod Podge. Like it's gonna stick down really good, okay? Like that. And I'll show you how I'm gonna get these little boogers cut out. Because they are round, it's kind of tricky. Um, but you can use like an X-Acto knife or something like that to kind of help with the whole process. And I don't want to waste my paper, so I'm not cutting out separate little sheets. So I'm just going to push these down. And let's see. All right, it's really hard to see some of your... I'm learning my new technology. All right, hi Karen, hi Julie. All right, so... Let's go ahead, I'm gonna cut this strip of paper here. And then what I like to 
do, I'm going to save that for something else for another day. What I like to do is take an X-Acto knife, which I have in my little cup here. And this is a Cricut one that I bought separate. It's a good blade. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and score that paper off. That's the first circle. Okay, and then I'm just going to run it along my little wood here. And I'm actually on a little cutting mat that's on a cutting mat, so it's okay if I cut through this, but just make sure you're protecting your surface if you're doing this. Um, but this is what I find makes the best little cut, right? It's almost perfect, like not completely perfect, but you know, look at that. And then you can sand these little edges if you want to, but how adorable is that? Okay, so let's do the other ones. I'll go ahead and slice these. Right, so let's see. Hello, let's see. Hi, Beth. Hi, Lisa. You guys, make sure you sprinkle the video if you're watching. I totally appreciate that. Um, I have a lot of craft ideas that I'm going to be doing to finish decorating around um, my house, and a lot of it is just using things from the Dollar Tree or some local craft stores, which most people have in their area. And so I kind of like sharing those ideas with you. All right, there we go. That one was pretty easy to get off. Look how cute these are looking. I love the red and green papers. And I never would have thought to actually put these together, but I think they're gonna turn out pretty cool. Okay, so, ooh, be careful you don't cut the wood. And if you're wondering, these little wooden, I guess I call these biscuits, little wood biscuits, I don't know. They came in a pack. I want to say they came in a pack of like 30 or 40. And um, they have them at the Hobby Lobby. They have them. They have them at Joann's as well. And you just kind of have to look in the little wood section, like for wood crafting, you'll find like little packs and bags and they'll have a mix of ovals and circles and you'll see like these wood letters, all of that. All right, and so I'm getting done here close to the end of these uh, circles. So I have the choice, everyone who's watching, I have the choice of making it say Mary or Noel. So what is your vote? Leave a comment and tell me which word you think I should put on our little ornament here. And I will, will do that one, okay? And you can see how the Mod Podge like dries pretty nice on this, actually. So this is one of my favorite ways to use scrapbook paper is to somehow use it with wood crafts. Um, I don't know why that is. I don't do a lot of card making as a crafter, and I don't, uh, I don't make like lots of paper projects, like just all paper, but I love putting Mod Podge scrapbook paper and wood together. And you see that little end that was up on that little end? I just kind of like smoothed it down. All right, so that's what I have right there. What word did we say? I'm gonna look for your comments while I go ahead and lay this out just to kind of show you what we're working with. So, we have this right here. And you can kind of see this paper has like a little bit of rustic, like distress in this paper, which is really kind of nice. All right, so I was thinking of putting the circles like, you know, just up and down, kind of, I don't know, kind of crazy like, I don't know, something like this maybe. And then like putting the word Mary. What do you guys think? Mary or Noel? I could do either or. Do we like this or not? Okay, so let me see what the comments say. Sarah says Mary. Katie says Mary. Hello, Katie. Uh, Christine, let's see. Uh, Sarah, hello from Indiana. Hi from Texas. Awesome, guys. Thanks for joining. All right, so I see more Marys than I see um, Noel. So we'll go with Mary. I think that's going to be cute. And then I also have, you guys see over here in the corner, these little bad boys. I have these for another project. They are from Amazon. They are split wood beads, but they're like the halves, 
okay? And it's 100 to a bag. This is what I was thinking with these. You guys tell me, half beads or no beads at all? So I'm gonna position where I can fit at least three like this here. I don't want it to be, you know, what do you think? Yes on the beads or no on these little beads? You guys liking this or not? I'm not really sure. Like, I just kind of went on a whim on this. And I think I'm digging it like they're hanging on the strand, but it's all going to be glued down. That's what I'm thinking. What do we think on that? Yay, nay? Are you with me? I can't tell. Let me get my comments going again here. I'm looking on the iPad for the first time, and so um, I'm thinking we like this, right? All right, so hopefully my glue gun is ready. It's fired up. So the first thing we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and get my, I have this glue. It's like leaking off right there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get my letter glued on for the little disc. Like that, and then glue down the wood biscuit piece, kind of into place, like that, and then we'll just add these little beads. And I don't think I'm going to do anything to the beads. I think I'm going to just leave them their natural color. I kind of like the way that they are natural. What do you guys think? Would you stain them or paint them, or... Let it go. Let it be natural, I think, is what we're going to go with. All right. Get that on there. A little bit of pop of green. I think the letters look really good. Ooh, I think they look good just kind of by themselves, even without the beads. But I had these, and I just quickly thought, oh, oh, you guys, look what I just did. I glued the wrong side. So I'm going to have to let that dry and scrape it off. Ah, that's one thing. Make sure your letters are the right way. Don't do what I did. All right, so we got that. Letter M. Okay, now let's see what's happening with my letter R here. It's so hot. Let's get that glue off of there. I do have one of these little tools. Let's see if I can help get this glue off. You gotta be careful. I don't think I have another R in my little stash that came in this. And these little letters, these were also from Hobby Lobby in the wood section. And they come like to a bag where you get only a couple letters of certain words or certain letters, a couple of each. And then you get like one M or, you know, like one letter P. So you got to kind of be careful if you mess up here. All right. There, I got the glue off. It's not perfect, but it's, it's okay. All right, so make sure I glue the back side this time. Like that. All right, so now we're back in business. Let's start gluing some beads. On the R. All right, so what do you guys think of this ornament so far? Do you like it? Let me see, hi, Sarah. Sarah says to leave it natural. I kind of agree. Are you guys decorating yet for the holidays? Who has a tree up? Tell me in the comments. And then tell me what kind of tree, like does your tree have a theme? Do you do certain colors? Tell me what you like um, or what you're doing for your Christmas tree this year. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue my middle R down. We kind of want to keep different lengths here, so try to be aware of that. All right. There we go. Too cute. Thank you for sprinkling, Sarah. I totally appreciate it. Love that. All right. Let's keep going. Almost done with this one, and then I'm real excited to play around with those gingerbread men. I think they are going to be super cute. Um, I have an idea to turn one of them into 
a girl gingerbread. So, oh no, that was hot, fell down. I will show you what happened to that. And these are all from the Dollar Tree, guys. These ornaments, I just got them within the week. So they should still be in the stores. It's not like something that came out early. I just picked these all up, like not even seven days ago. So um, this is totally a project you could do, you know, now. It's not like something you have to wait and order for or get super early. You could totally do this now. If you check your local Dollar Tree, you could probably find all of these materials. I know you can find these letters at Hobby Lobby. Um, same thing with the wood biscuits. And then these little half beads, guys, they're from Amazon. I think it was $9 for the whole pack. And so I have another project for those um, that I'm going to share with you guys. It's like a home decor piece. It's not like a holiday-related item. And once I get that finished, I will put that up for you guys to see. Okay, so now I'm just sweeping off all my glue gun strings. Ah. All right, so what do we think? How cute is this? I think it definitely needs some shimmer or something kind of um, little razzle-dazzle to it, but I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, so I'm going to have to think on that. But I love it the way it is, especially if you have like a regular you know, traditional Christmas, maybe with a little bit of farmhouse or rustic going on, this would go very well with that. I do think it needs something else. I don't know, maybe a bow at the top would be cute. I could pull out some ribbons and add a, a cute little bow here or something down here. I'm not really sure, but I do love it the way it is. I don't want to overkill it, but I think this is going to be a really cute jumbo ornament for the tree. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and move that one over here up out of the way, and then I'm gonna start working on the um, big gingerbread men. So I picked up two of these little guys, and I wanna make one a boy and one a girl. And the idea that I have for that is to simply just remove the bow here and the buttons on one of them and make it where the bow is on the head, kind of like how you would have it for a girl. So I'm gonna see, I'm just using this little Cricut spatula. This is like one of the old original tools um, that came out with like the very first Cricut. So I've had this little tool forever. It's great for kind of lifting up things like I just did with the glue. So I'm gonna see if it kind of works in popping off one of these little bows. Let's see if it's gonna let me do it without breaking the wood. You don't wanna break the wood underneath we kind of want to preserve that, if at all possible. So, kind of hard to do here, but let's see how I'm doing. Eh, it's okay, there's some cracking, but not too bad. You don't want to split it, because this is just like easy little, almost like cardboard wood, right? So we don't want it to be, okay, let's see. Am I gonna get to it? Let's see, it's kind of hard. See, I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. Let me get it in the camera here. You hear it splitting? <laughs> That's kind of scary. All right. I guess worst case scenario is I could flip it over and just do the back. Oh, there it went. Okay, I think it's free, but I think it ripped at the same time. So, yes, it did. All right, so that plan may not work to what was in my head. But you may have better luck getting, so you see what it did there? Kind of ripped its whole little thing off. You may have better luck at getting yours free than I did. Um, it's always worth a try. So what I think, let's see, can I put this back in there? Probably not, right? Just to kind of help it have some stability. I'm going to have to figure out how to cover this on my little girl here because this is going to be where she's wearing a bow and i have an idea to make her a dress um which we could totally do I have to do the same thing here with these buttons these are on there pretty good so i gotta give dollar tree some credit and having the longevity um with these pieces but for sure they're on there really good let's see i struggle with this one can't get that one to pop off at all. I probably should have tried this before I went live. Let me see if I can get it. 
Hmm. Might bend my tool. Okay, I'm gonna have to like don't let that go. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna try my stalls tool because sometimes that might be able to get on there. This is some major super glue they have going on here, guys. No, I don't wanna ruin my tool. Okay, so gingerbread. They're what color? Brown. So I'm gonna stick with the traditional color of brown and then I'm gonna go and making them super cute like his and hers, right? So I have this, um, let's see, I have an antique bronze color. I have a black, let me see if I have a brown. I think I actually have like a hazelnut color in my chalk paints. So I'm gonna grab that really quick. Hazelnut, for sure, that's the color of our gingerbread. And here we go. I'm just gonna do this color right here and I have some extra paint brushes. Somewhere. Okay, right here. Let's try and go ahead and at least get our color going on the gingerbread man. What do we think? Do we like this color? I think it's a cute color. All right, and I'm going to go back and paint these little, if you look like it, I don't know, you guys can see it on the camera. It has like these little pieces that are raised on the gingerbread. So it's perfect because it kind of acts. Number one is a guide, and number two, you can paint them like a different color or a highlight. And so I'm gonna stick to the traditional um, color here. I'm going to actually do a like brown and white with maybe some red and white candy color looking um, accents, if that makes any kind of sense. But I just thought these were super adorable, super cute, and could look really cute, like totally fancied up a little bit. So that's all I'm trying to do here. And I know that I'm not painting this super great. Like I'm just getting the color on there. For the boy, there's not a lot that I, oh, there's not a lot that I'm going to do to add to him. I am going to just keep him the simple brown and white. I'm gonna do something cute to his bow. If I have a little bit of that red and white stripe paper, I thought about making a bow like out of that to kind of give him a little bit of color, but I kind of want him to be simple and then I might add like a little bit of glitter just to kind of give it something extra. So that's the plan that I have. And you guys know when I start crafting, sometimes it goes according to plan and sometimes it totally doesn't or an idea strikes like after the fact. So, and I'm trying not to get too much paint like on these little bow pieces but I'm going to cover them, so that's why I'm painting the base of my little gingerbread man first. And I'm gonna do the same for the girl. And then we'll go back and add like our little embellishments and get it looking a lot better than what it is right now. Okay, so there's my little cookie man. He's starting to come to life a little bit. And again, this paint is, it's not even mixed. You can see it's coming out in different colors. This is um, Waverly Hazelnut Chalk Paint. So, um, oh, I just painted that. Don't worry though, we're gonna paint over that. All right, same thing there. Got that going, good. All right, so I'm gonna let him dry. Let's work on the little girl. Same thing for her. We want her to be, you know what I'm thinking for her? We might do a mixture and uh, add a little white to this hazelnut color just to kind of lighten up her skin tone, right? Make her a little different, a little lighter. I don't know. We'll see what my little mixture looks like. It may not be good. I like the idea of giving her more of a honey or gl honey glow, right? It's like a cookie, a, a sugar cookie. or So see, I just added a little bit of white into my little hazelnut color and actually got those colors to mix because it wasn't really doing so good on my man there, but. All right, same thing with her. We're just going to paint up her little body here. Get some more paint. And get her going to town here. I'm gonna make little faces. You can even put googly eyes, like if you're not good at painting, you could put little 
googly eyes on your little girl or your little guy. This would be even fun to do maybe with your kids, I'm not sure. You kind of have to trust that they could paint and not make too big of a mess. Or you could pre-paint them like the gingerbread color and then let them decorate their gingerbread. Just kind of like how they have the um, felt pieces at Dollar Tree. They have the kits in the wood like this, or you can actually get like a kit that has little pom-poms in with it. And it's like a little cut out of a gingerbread or a Christmas tree. And you could totally let them go to town on making their little pieces like that. What's up? Is my thing falling down? Let's see. You need something open. Yeah, I don't have it. Oh boy, love the gingerbread boys. Thanks, Sarah. If you heat it up a bit first, they will pop off easily. Oh, that's for like removing the thing. That's a good tip. Thank you for telling me that because I didn't know. Um, but I probably should try that next time. I kind of should have looked that up. I didn't even think about it. I just thought because it was the Dollar Tree, they would just pop off. And they did not, of course. Of course, my luck, they did not. All right. So, now I've got my little gingerbread boy, my little gingerbread girl happening here. Um, so, their bodies are pretty much done. You could totally do the backs of these. I'm not going to since I plan to put them on the tree with the back, like, on the tree. You won't see it. So, I think it's going to be okay. Um, I don't know. But you, look at my little gingerbread girl. She's, like, bowing up as I paint. So, that's not cool. But we'll see if we can kind of fix that. I don't know. Might be okay, she's coming to life. My little gingerbread man here, he needs a little bit more darker color mix right here. So let me go ahead and get him all painted. Let me blend that down, blend that together. Okay, so hopefully that dries pretty similar there. Get that all blended in. All right, now that I have my little bit of color, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and make the paper piece for the gingerbread boy um, bow. So I can't take this off. I'm going to leave it right there where it is. But I do have the girl one to kind of act as my guide. And I'm just using a scrap piece of that paper that I had. And I'm just going to trace it out and cut it out and then glue that on top of my little gingerbread man. Okay, so just a little... Trace and cutting action is all that I'm doing here to kind of give him a little razzle dazzle to his little gingerbread cute style, I guess you could say, right? That's what we're going to do. For the girl, I don't know if I am going to match her bow. I mean, I, I certainly have enough paper here to do that. What do you guys think? Should I match her little bow up to him? I have some ribbon here and I'm planning to like kind of make her some little clothes or like a little outfit. So we'll see here. Okay, let's get this bow cut. Tell me in the comments, should I match the gingerbread girl bow or should I leave it as is or paint it or something else? What do you think? Okay, so there's my little, oh, that's gonna look so cute, right? What do you guys think? That's looking cute already. Okay, so I'm going to Mod Podge that down into place. And I'm just going to get a little bit of glue going here, Mod Podge glue. And let's see, Sarah says do something different. Okay, I agree. I think we could do something different. I don't know what yet though. <laughs> so if you got an idea, down for that. I always love to see what you guys think. Just because I'm the crafty mom doesn't mean I'm always the best at the tips. Okay. So, there's his little bow, and we have hers. We're going to put hers over here. Oh, let me put him in the shot so you guys can kind of see, because I'm kind of working on them together, right? Because we want them to be a little pair, but we don't want it to be too matchy-matchy. Does that make sense? All right, so let me get my little brown paint out of the way. Um, I am thinking I could put a cute little cotton ball or a pom-pom there. What do you guys think on his little bow there in the center? I think that would be super cute if I did something like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and paint 
their little arm things like where the frosting would go or the icing would go. I also have my little paint pens where I can draw like some for their faces. So I do have that. When I'm at the Dollar Tree too, I always pick up these little paint brushes, guys, because they're great for these projects. They're not the greatest paint brushes, um, but every now and then you find a good one. These are okay. And you know, you can have it in your stash or whatever. All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and start the white here. Try and keep my, my painting skills pretty good. It pops a lot better with the white. May have to do a couple coats on where the brown kind of went over the edge, maybe not. This is acrylic paint I'm using from my stash, so. I just pulled out all my paints. And this white is actually brighter than the white in his bow. So I could probably paint the white to match. What do you think? Paint the white to match on the bow or leave it as is? What do you guys think? Let's see. All right. I'm going to keep doing this. And she really is bowing up. You see that? She's really bowed up there. Um, so this wood really soaked up that paint and made it curl up like that kind of a little bit. Which is kind of crazy, but it's a little bit thicker than I thought would do that, but I guess it's not. So just be aware. Like I don't know how to keep it pressed down. I don't mind the bowing of it, but kind of, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know what I think about it bowing up like that. Okay. Let me get the last little one down here. All right, so what do you guys think? Do you think I should paint the bow, the white lines to kind of match the brightness of the white here or should I just leave it as is? What would you do? to do is now that her um, body is dry I have some pom-pom stuff here I'm gonna lay him to the side just for a bit while we play around with the ribbons and then I have pink and red ribbons and I thought it would be super cute to kind of layer up a little skirt on her do you see what I'm doing kind of like this and then kind of give her Maybe it's like suspenders. I don't know. I don't know. Something like this. What do we think? I'm thinking something like that. So I think we're going to start with the little body part first of her dress. Glue that down into place first, like right across here, right? And then we'll add her some straps to kind of go like this. And I'm just gonna cut these a little bit longer so that I can crisscross this over. Does that make sense? I hope I'm making sense with my, my thoughts on this, just to kind of get it like that, okay? And then I will glue everything down. So we've got like a little dress starting to happen here. Um, is what I'm thinking. All right, so let's go ahead and just give this a little bit of glue. I'm actually just gonna put it right on her body, right there, and just kind of line it up to where that needs to kind of go. And the same thing here, I'm just going to do the cross pattern. Let's see. Um, I just wanna make sure I get a little bit here down this little area. I'm not doing a ton of glue because I don't want it to be 
super noticeable. And then I'm just gonna flip it over and secure it to the back. Like that. Same thing to the other side, making her little dress here. And this is kind of covering up where I tore that bow. So that's good, <laughs> right? <laughs> So we got that going on and I'm covering up this little button that I couldn't get off and I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to leave it there and cover it anyway. So you're not even going to see it. All right. So there's the part of her little dress. Now I'm going to do, I think a red piece here, give her some pink in there, of course, cause she's girly and then maybe another red piece for the bottom of her skirt like that. And I'm going to make it where it kind of stays ruffled like a dress would stay. I hope that's making sense. So I'm just going to cut three pieces of this ribbon to kind of match that part like this. Okay. And this longer one, the bottom one, I'm going to leave it a little bit more and I'm going to bow it up. So I'm going to show you what I mean. So I'm just going to um, do the edges here and maybe just the center to kind of tack it down there and there. But pushing it in to kind of give it that flowy dress look. And then, of course... Wrap it to the back. All right, let's see. Pink, same kind of deal, except I want it to kind of roll up a little bit, right? So I'm going to just add the glue to the edges here. And then just attack in the center, just to kind of give it some dimension. And of course, tack it down in the back. Okay, and then the bottom part of her little skirt, I'm thinking, What do we think? Do we like this little dress or are we not digging it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think it's okay. I think she definitely needs something going on right there. A white pom-pom or something to kind of give her a little skirt. I'm wondering if I need to do another row. What do you guys think? Two rows of red on the bottom? I'm not sure, is that appropriate length? Good geez, I don't know. What do you guys think? Tell me. Hi Misty, hi Cameron, or is it Cameron? I don't know, hi Debbie, hi Tammy. All right, so let's see. I'm thinking she's gonna go with the mini skirt. <laughs> I just don't want it to look like a kimono and I feel like it's looking kimono like that, with that right there. I'm trying to make a cute little apron-like dress, and I don't think that I accomplished that. So, let's see how I can make it look a little better. I don't know if I need to put a little piece right there. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not sure what's happening. All right, we we'll have to keep working with it and make it cuter. Just saying, y'all, just saying. You could totally paint this, but I like adding the 3D element. And I think partly too, because she's bowing up, it's throwing me off. All right, so let me get her back kind of laying flat. I do have this cute little white trim palm. I could totally do on her little, maybe we do it on the bottom. I'm thinking the bottom, right? Give her a little razzle dazzle. I'm just gonna tack it to place. All right, we want it to kind of look ginger ready. And then I'm gonna cut that little piece off. 
All right, so I think that's a little bit better. She's looking a little better. What do you guys think? If you have any suggestions for me, what would you do? I think she needs something here in the middle to kind of go with our little guy, right? You get my little strings going off. I have these palms, but I'm not sure that that's the solution either. <laughs> All right, so I'm thinking now that we have, I have some white glitter, um, that our white paint is dry, I'm going to definitely give him some glitter. I'm going to give her some glitter on the white and just kind of, you know, shimmer these up a little bit. I painted them white first just to kind of give that first layer for the color. Um, and then hopefully it just sticks to the white and not the brown, but yeah, definitely needs the glitter. The glitter makes it better, right? Makes it look like sugar, sugar cookie maybe. There's the glitter, it's looking good on him. Okay, so now let's add some glitter to her. Little spots here. Got too much glue. And I'm thinking a red glittery bow for her, for her hair bow. So it's a little bit different from his, but it's still got the red in it to match. What do you guys think? Oh, that's just a mess right there. All right. Definitely thinking that. Shake it off, shake it off. I need to figure out something good for her dress here. Do you guys have any suggestions for the dress? Like, how can we fix up her little, I don't know. I was trying to make like an apron here and it kind of turned out, I mean, I'm not, that's okay. I'm just not in love with it 100%. I feel like it could be cuter. You got any suggestions for me? Let me know. And then. We'll paint some eyes and such after we do her bow. Make that look really good. Okay. Shake it off. I have that song in my head. All right, so there's with the glitter on it. Let me move this out of the way. I do have some red chunky glitter. So I think that would be cute to do. I'm going to go ahead and move my glitter out of the way over there. All right, let's do her red bow in some red chunky glitter. Do you guys see what I'm doing here? If I need to, let me switch my plate out of the way so you guys can see. So let me know, you guys, would you make one of these? These are from the Dollar Tree. I know some of you have kind of joined and come back. These are from the Dollar Tree, so tell me in the comments, would you make a gingerbread jumbo ornament yes no maybe so all right this is some chunkier glitter that I have just to kind of make her bow like a little razzle dazzle and this is going in our family tree area um, so I kind of have a lot of bright colors going on there with that all right and let's see what do we think about that bow? Pretty? I think it needs a little bit more on the edge here. It needs some more glitter. I want to make sure all the ends are good with the glitter. I know, right? It's a mess. But it wouldn't be crafty without that. And I'm going to go ahead and mix it with a little bit of fine glitter just to cover all of my my specs there so now it's like ruby red slipper all right that's gonna look super cute on her she's getting real fancy now okay so I'm gonna let that dry I'm gonna move that to the side because it's kind of still tacky hi Vicki how are you you doing good all right so I'm thinking before we get to the little faces I might could put a little pom-pom or a little decoration there on the top of her, her little um, dress. What do you guys think? I'm going to pull out some buttons that I have really quick and just kind of show you what I have. These are some containers that I have in my little dream box. 
They come with the dream box. I love the dream box. Um, but yeah, so I could do, what do you think? Some cute little buttons for her. So she like kind of matches the mister. These are kind of matching right here. Um, maybe just do the two, two buttons like that on her dress. That's what I'm thinking. I think she needs some buttons, guys. I don't know. I've got these pink and other ones. Um, oh, look, there's a third one in there. Did you see that? I saw it. I saw it. There it is. Look. How per You know what? You never know what you're going to need when you need it. So, these are going to be truly one of a kind. Um, I could even take the third one and put it on the bow. What do you think about that? I might need to do that, guys. Um, I have a little cutter tool that actually allows me to cut metal or like pieces off the back of a button. I don't know what you call this. It's like a super cutter. <laughs> I picked this up at Lowe's and the back of these little buttons have plastic little loops on them, but because I'm gluing them down, I don't need that bump. So I'm just taking these off with my little tool here. I know, right? Good waste of a button, but hey, it's actually gonna be a button. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and definitely give her these two buttons here. Do you guys think I need a third button on the dress and on the bow or not at all? What do you think? Let's see. Because I actually think I may have a fourth one. Does she need three buttons? And a matching button on the bow? Because I have four. Or does she need just the three? Tell me really quickly. Let me see. Let me pull up the comments. All right. Um, she could probably get away with the two. That's what I'm thinking. She could probably get away with two. But the three is super cute. Hmm, hmm. Decisions, decisions. I think I'm going to go for it. I'm going to do the three. Um, just because, and they're not perfectly lined up, like the ribbon's kind of moving them, but that's okay. I'm gonna cut this little piece off the back. And I'm going to, there's her little bow. I'm gonna glue this middle onto the bow. It might be a lot, I don't know, we'll see. I think it's gonna add to it though. Definitely think it's adding to it. Like I said, I wanted her to have some razzle dazzle to her her wardrobe here okay so there's our cute little bow let's do a little bit of painting with the paint pins um and fix him up a little bit so i have i have um these sharpie paint pins um got them a while back i hardly use them but i pulled them out for this i thought it would be fun to paint their faces with it, but I want to just kind of um, like warm it up here on his little buttons. And the reason I like the paint pens is because you can get a little bit better precise painting. So I just thought it'd be cute to do his buttons in red. Um, and I could even put glitter on his buttons. That would be cute too. So. I don't know, what do you think? Does he need a little more sparkle or does he need to stay kind of plain? I'm not really sure. All right, so now I'm gonna try and do his face. Um, let me see, I probably need to pull up a gingerbread face just to kind of get an idea like what I'm looking at. Gingerbread face, I'm just gonna look it up on the, um, Okay, so there's lots of ways to do it. So, most of them, though, are showing like a white base. Oh, I kind of like that super cute or black. Okay, so for him, I think I'm just gonna do something a little easy. I'm just gonna kind of go with, you know, these like button looking ovals. 
like that. Keep it easy. And then maybe just give him like a few little lashes, like little tiny ones, right? Nothing major. And then a little thing like that. And the smiley. Okay. And then I'm going to come back on the white for him. Now for her, let's see. For her, I'm going to try and do the same thing, but we're going to, I got to make sure that I get her bow on there. So I want hers to be, let's see, a little bit bigger, I think. And I'm just free in this. I don't even know. So hers are going to be a little bigger and closer together. Like that. And I want to give her the prettier looking lashes here, right? Kind of. like that. Same thing. I'm going to give her a little nose and a smiley. And on her, I'm going to give her some, oh, I probably need to wait until that dries. So that would be smart lady. But I was thinking some pink little cheeks there. Um, and then hopefully if it's dried back, Let's see, if it's dried back, I can go back into doing uh, a little white on top here. Actually, I'm probably just gonna use real white paint. That might be better than actually doing this with um, a paint pen, just because I painted it black first. So let me just see if I can actually do that with the paint here. Just a little, a little dab will do ya. Like that, okay? And for her, same kind of deal. Um, what do we think? Okay, and for her, I did see when I was Googling, they had, some of them have like a little extra little speck up there. So, I don't know. I think she looks happy. What do you guys think? Do you like this? Is this super cute? I'm gonna go ahead and glue her little bow down. Oh, the glitter. And finish this off. I think it's gonna be super adorable on the tree. Definitely think it's gonna add some whimsy um, that I was looking for. I don't really have a lot of picks on that tree. We just have all of our like fun keepsake um, ornaments on there. Everything's like pretty much handmade. So these will be perfect to add to it. And yeah, this is what, um, this is my little gingerbread man, my little gingerbread girl. And just to kind of show you um, the other ornament we did. How fun is this guys? Look at that. I think it's super cute. Um, I think they turned out really adorable. I definitely think it's fun. And you guys leave a comment down below. Tell me if you're going to make these or would you make these maybe with your kids? Um, would love to see pictures if you decide to do that. And I think that's it. I'm done crafting. Um, my husband is waiting for me. We wait to watch Mandalorian every Friday so he is patiently waiting for me to join him so you guys have a great weekend thanks for hanging with me to the end and checking out my crafts and I will see you guys next time have a good night